All right, so we're back in Cakewalk by Band Lab, and if you haven't tuned in yet, I have been focusing on eight ways to create or record drums within Cakewalk by Band Lab. The last video that I released talked about using loops and using patterns and using the step sequencer. So hopefully if you haven't checked that video out, I'll leave the link to that video in the description below. Today's video will focus on using sounds from outside of Cakewalk by Band Lab. Today we're gonna be using Splice. If you're not familiar with Splice, Splice is a wonderful library filled with many loops, one shots, samples, whatever you need for whatever type of instrument that you're looking for, it has it all. All right, so you're looking at Splice right now, and I'll leave the link in the description below, so that way you can go ahead and download this if you need it. There are a few options that come with Splice. You can do the sounds only plans, so which is what I have. I have 100 monthly sample credits, and that's $7.99 a month, which I think is pretty cheap. Um, good thing about it is that you can stop this plan. I mean, it's not like you're stuck in a contract. The good thing about these credits is that they roll over, so that way if you never use it one month, you'll have plenty of credits later on. So I probably have like 3,000 something credits right now because I don't always download samples all the time. Um, you can do more expensive plans. Not only do you get sounds and samples with this splice, but they also have a lot of great tutorials and videos and things to help you out as far as becoming an artist. Uh, mixing and things like that. So there's a lot of things that you can benefit from using this software. Now that we know a little bit about Splice, let's get back into making this song. Now you can see I'm in a current project that I had for my last video, Samples YouTube. I have archived this track, which I created from last time. If you're not sure how to do that, you just right click on the track, go to MSR, right? And then press archive. And what that does is basically just frees up that memory. Uh, the track is not deleted in case I want to come back to this track and I don't have to worry about it taking up the resources. All right, let me pull up Splice again. I'm not even gonna worry about creating tracks. This is how this works. So you can find a lot of great sounds, but of course we're not here for any of that right now. We are here for the drums. So let me find drums. I just want to show you some of the things that comes with it. So. Um, Click on drums and let's see what we got here. Okay, got hi hats. Okay. I can download that loop and say if I want to use that, I can just drop it in. All right, and it's there. Okay, this is at tempo 85, so I can change my metronome to 85. Or there's another way I could have did it too as well to make it fit the time that I'm in. Okay, so now when I move this over. All right, so maybe I'm cool with that beat. I'm gonna save that real quick, and then I am going to bring up another sound. So let's see if I can find some hi-hats. All right, now that I have my main drums figured out, now I wanna throw some hi-hats in there. So what you wanna do is you can still click on drums, and then you can just find hats, all right? And now I have a hats up, and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of drums, because all I really need is just hats. So X out of that. This tempo for the track that I had was 85. You can try to find a track that's 85. There may be one, but if you like a hi-hat pattern and you're like, man, I really like it, but it's too fast, it's okay, I got you. You can you can adjust it. Okay. So these are cool, but they're not quite what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna use what's called the genres. Down here on the right corner, you'll see genres. And I need something that's more of a hip hop groove because that's the beat that I use, basically.
Okay. All right. Now I let's see. Refresh. See what's going on. See what's up. That's nice. Okay. Here's a Trap Soul Sessions Volume Two, and I actually downloaded this earlier. I like this. Now this is going to be too fast, but I'm still going to drag it in. All right. Now let's hear what it sounds like. It's going to sound like a triple effect. Okay. As you can see, that is not going to work for the tempo that I am at because I'm at. Okay. So I needed to fit that time. This is what you want to do. I'm going to click on the track. I'm going to bounce to clip first. So you just right click, bounce to clip. And now after that, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go up to, and if it's not enabled for you, look for clip properties at the top, right? Click on audio snap, All right? It may be closed like that. Just make sure you go to audio snap, enable it. Now, normally you can do follow project tempo. You're going to have to play around with this a little bit because it's not, sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't work well. But what I want to do is I'm not going to do follow project tempo. I'm going to click on enable stretch. All right. And right now the stretch amount is 100%. So what I need to do is increase that. I know that I have it perfectly in time when the audio length is the same, basically is the same as this clip up here. So I'm going to play around with it. Let's try 150 first. All right. And then you notice that it went over a little bit. Now, if I play it now, it's going to be closer. Okay. But it's starting to get off a little bit. Okay, so now it's behind the beat. If I start off good, so that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna go back, let's try 148. Let's see if that works. All right, it's getting closer, but it's still not lined up perfectly. Okay, and now it's behind the beat. Once again, we're almost there. All right. So let's take it down to, let's try 147. See what that does. Now let's listen to it. Okay, perfect, you all. All right, I can go ahead and press Control S. I can save that. Now my beat is set up. I can add some extra percussion to it, or I can start building my track, create my bass line, my keys, my guitar, whatever you want to do with it. If you are interested in using Splice, definitely click the link below in the description. If you want a more in-depth tutorial about this, definitely let me know in the comments. If you are a person that says, uh, I'm not down with all this little sampling and adding samples in, I'm, I'm a live person, I like to record everything live, and I wanna do my live drums. Well, I have a video that's gonna talk about recording drums in Cakewalk by Band Lab. Definitely check that out right here. See you all next time.